Smack him! Oh, right, I forgot the bat has a chance to fear. Oh, counter Oh my god! I forgot that Drew is fucking crazy with it! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Smack him, Junpei. Bop. <laughs> Wait, he said it! He said it! He said the thing! He just said a different version of it. He said, who's the man? Junpei's the man. <laughs> he said the thing. Mamudo. She gives a thumbs up to the dog. <laughs> I got your back. Okay. Like a well oiled machine, baby. Sure why, but the shadows seem to be intimidated by us. Oh yeah, we seem. Oh yeah, they got the ones that fear. They're scared. <laughs> Bro's fucking zooming. Honestly, yeah. Monica advice right there. Whoa, no Monica advice? Well, Chad, he's going the Yukari route. He's set in stone. No! <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is this poll question? If you had to wake up with... If you had to wake up with the body of a Persona 3 party member, what does that question mean? <laughs> I'm assuming it's asking like if you had to be somebody from Persona 3, who would it be? Like are you are you just asking about like are you body snatching? Are you like Ginyu body snatching right now? Exactly zero? Okay. I mean I don't know if I want to be any of them if I'm being honest. I mean I mean I guess if I'm Akihiko, I get to be a boxer, I suppose. So I'd have a boxer's build, so. It really is just like Akihiko or nobody, though, for the boys, because it's like Makoto and Junpei are just kind of average looking people. <laughs> you can have finger guns with Aegis. <laughs> okay, wait, but would I just look like Aegis or would I be a robot? Like, see, these are questions. I was like, am I a full on fucking robot or do I just look like a robot? <laughs> also, I don't know if I want to be a robot. That's another thing. Hero votes for Yukari. I mean, I think it's because a majority of chat, I'm pretty, majority of chat is probably male right now, if I had to guess. So I don't know how many guys want to look like Yukari. <laughs> if you pick I guess you can't wear a t-shirt. <laughs> hey, I'm a robot. I can't wear anything. There we go. This, there's a, yes, there's a border floor coming up in six floors. Okay, so that means that, I mean, this will be a good floor for me to stop for now, though. He gave me more. Oh Here, take this. Multi-target boost. Let's hear the Precious eggs. I wish to become a straw millionaire. Bring what you are, what you get after bartering items. What? There's a story of a man who becomes wealthy after only bartering one item for another. I like to see how such a feat is possible. I prefer this bandage wrap. For, I prefer this bandage. Wrap. Use the bandage wrap as your first bargaining. So trade it for something satisfactory. I will await a report of success. Okay. Perform the king and I. Oh, that's a, that's also sounds like like the play. <laughs> Why this is exciting, isn't Oh, it? this is exciting. He's so big. He ho, I'm King Frost. Your he fo is my he fo. I'll freeze everything in your way, ho. Just call me a ho. Oh wait, we can actually make a uh, Black Frost. This persona is powerful. Black Frost is better anyway. Hey ho! I'm the Almighty Black Frost. I'll teach you he how to ho how to walk and talk like a badass ho. Oh my god! And Black Frost is cool. Not like that lame King Frost. Our I still haven't had an accident in this game yet. A fusion accident. So I don't know. It's kind of weird. 
Yeah, I don't know what the hell this guy is. I am Vasuki. I think I remember Vasuki. I just remember Vasuki looking like that. Very well. Uh, yes. We're we'll harboring a new potential. We sound have acquired our reason are resonating with one another. Maybe to greater heights. Oh, here it comes. The king and I. Here it is. Heavy ice damage to all foes. Ignoring resistances and a medium chance of freeze. Ooh. That's got fusion accents. That's got did have fusion accents. We're talking about the fact that they let you skip the cutscene. That's what we're talking about. They let you skip the cutscene. Other Persona games wouldn't allow you to skip a cutscene if there was an accident. They would make you fluid force play the cutscene. Morning, it's already so hot at this hour. By the way, have you heard anything about the dates of the health checkup? I have not. Jeez. Well, I told Junpei to let you know. Yours is on August 14th. Man, it's seriously way too hot out here. Sure, I'm getting inside. I need me a classroom with air conditioning staff. Mine's on the 14th. I don't want to go to the checkup. What if the doctor hits me with a needle? Oh shit, free knowledge? I forgot, bro. You get free knowledge at the summer school. Hey, yo. Could my Mitsuru plan actually happen? Oh, I forgot. I can't do shit during these days. They're treated like exams. Oh, fuck. Help. <laughs> I know it's hot. Let's try and get through class. Focus, focus. Still would have thought people would actually attend this course over the summer. You sure are curious a lot. I'm not sure what to make of that. What about something interesting? All your future magicians want to pay close attention. Those cards are often the tarot cards. Okay, yeah, you're up. Today is the great Crowley. So, continuing on. It's all about the composition. The modern 78 deck. 78 deck? That's too big for your Yu-Gi-Oh deck. You're not going to be able to find all the cards you need with that deck. Let's do just that. What do you say? Each stage represents an event an individual must experience to achieve wholeness. Each major arcana is a stage on that journey. Yeah. It's important to take a look at each of the 22 cards. The first card is numbered zero is the fool. It represents the beginnings of just infinite possibilities. However, is the beginning of life. That's why the first, that's why your main character is always represented by the fool arcana because the fool arcana is represents beginning and suggests infinite possibilities. Because you know, you're your wild card. You can do anything you want, infinite possibilities. This card is a magician, represents action and initiative, but also immaturity. The High Priestess represents contemplation and inner knowledge. The Empress represents both motherhood and maternal love, as well as the one's vitality. The Emperor is an opposing card. It represents fatherhood, as well as leadership and decision-making skills. The Hierophant represents formality and knowledge. It is a symbol for religion. That is to say... The Lovers represent choice. Here, the individual finally begins to develop a conscience. The Chariot represents the individual's victory, but only a momentary one. Justice is what it sounds like, knowing what is right and what is wrong. The Hermit represents self-reflection. In other words, searching for answers deep within one's heart. Fortune represents fate and the opportunities it brings. Strength represents both passion and self-control. It is depicted as power with, with reason. The hangman reflects the individual's inability to take action. Spiritual death awaits the individual met with the 13th card, which is aptly named death. <laughs> death is considered a transitional card. With death, the old ends and the new begins. All right. Let's move on to what happens following the transition. Temperance is the balancing of opposites, opening one's eyes to the world allows for growth. And then an encounter with the devil is where one faces temptation. Tower, the individual values will start to collapse. It seems that there's nothing to believe in. The individual then finds a glimmer of hope in the star, granting one peace and serenity. In turn, this makes one more vulnerable to the moon's illusions, which gives way to fear and trepidation. But the individual may be rewarded with a bright future by the sun, which signifies true achievement. Judgment awaits the individual at the journey's end when looking back on the path one has traveled. The final card is the universe, which represents the individual reaching full awareness. And that's the growth of an individual is explained by the tarot cards. Perhaps all you think about, perhaps all this talk about life doesn't hit home with the young folks just yet. Hmm. <laughs> well, then. Now you can use all 78 cards to find the future in detail, but most people only use the 22 major arcana. The next up about fortune telling is the major arcana. First, you need to shuffle the cards. If the cards are reversed, it means it will change, and that is important, so pay attention. Anyway, it keeps drawing on and on. Anyway, um. Yeah, it, that is, you can take some of those meanings and look at Persona games and see why certain social links are certain arcanas. Most time to head to summer school. I need to stop by the Memorial Hospital on the way back later today. You could some magic, but I don't understand Kabbalah. Okay, then. This is the person for him, this is the ideology. According to legend, it was Moses. Oh my god, Moses? The Moses who split the Red Sea. Did he use a Beyblade? I heard he used the Beyblade. <laughs> I heard Moses used a Beyblade to split the, to split the Red Sea. Is this true? So, continuing on. 
I'm not even like the, the, the 22 paths, God's creation. There's a lot of this guy's is talking a lot of he's, he's yapping a lot. No, I said 22 paths. Then remember the major arcana. Yeah, Kabbalah's assistance is broken to four worlds. That's where I forget. I'll be giving so many lessons at the nurse's office. I'm doing demonstrations with tarot cards, but I have time for that during the lecture. If you're interested, I'll buy it for school. Everyone is welcome. Because it's drawn on and on. You're not Goku. You can't do that. Yes, I am. I can stop those wasps. Oh my god, I'm smart! <laughs> Finally. It only took like five classes. And it actually increased. Go for my checkup. Thanks for being so patient. That just about concludes your checkup. Why is this happening in a really dark room? <laughs> Sorry yours ended up taking so much longer than everyone else's. What the hell were you looking at? That's alright. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. Although, we could have done it another time and taken a full day for it. Your persona abilities are rather unusual compared to the others, aren't they? That's why we had to run so many more tests on you. Well, based on how you've performed so far, I don't expect there to be any problems. Persona abilities can be dangerous, depending on how they're used. With that in mind, it can't hurt to err on the side of caution. How are you feeling about it? Do you have any concerns about your power? Uh, none at all. I'm fine. Good to hear. And I don't think there will be any issues. I just go with, with the flow, sir. Either. I truly am grateful for everything the team has done, especially you. Things have really changed for the better since you arrived. Our team has grown, and we've even figured out how we can eliminate the dark hour. In a way, you've sort of gotten the clock ticking for us again. It's almost as if we were just waiting for you these past ten years. <laughs> I'm afraid I can only support you from behind the scenes. But I'll be counting on you oh, to sorry. eliminate the four remaining shadows. Yeah, yeah, I got your back. Pretty late. Why don't we get you back to the door? You guys so check the car tomorrow, right? He gets his own day, probably. Hello. Oh, thanks for your help the other day. Uh huh. Yes. It's missing from that document. It's urgent. Wait, but, but by today. He receives an urgent call. Is it back to the dorm? Iwatodai. Iwatodai. The hell? This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Why are they showing the... Board before the scheduled department Why are they showing my UI? Oh, it looks like you're at Iwatodai Station now. It's so late. You were starting to get worried. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, nuts. Um, did you run into any trouble? My checkup took a while. <laughs> oh, I see. I hope everything's all right. I mean, now I'm walking around outside in the dark hour. I'll let Kirijo Senpai know. We're in the command room right now. I'll go ahead and navigate you back to the dorm. Okay. I'm sure be fine. Considering what happened with Koro-chan, I'd rather play it. I'll life. be fine. You worry too much. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> what? Wait, I can sense a shadow. And it's really close to you. It's over at the Moonlight Bridge. Now what? It's dangerous to go alone. You should stay put until everyone else gets there. Oh no! There's another reading near the shadow! It's a person! Ah! I'm scared of people! That's actually scarier! Uh, I'll buy some time. Oh, wait! Oh my. And what have we here? Well, that thing is ugly! <laughs> so much power, so much chaos. I'd not be foolish enough to turn my back on such a predator. 
Man, you better fucking move away before I lock you in a basement. <laughs> Don't think I forgot. And on top of that, we have an unexpected guest tonight. Not a very favorable situation, all things considered. So, given this little predicament, how do you intend to partake? Uh, man, let's see what you got. <laughs> so long as you aren't against me, I will allow it. I don't know what our foe is capable of, but I trust you can protect yourself. All right, I'm actually going to fight with Takia. <laughs> what a hapless night, is it not? Well then, shall we begin? Okay, bro's got the ability. That's like kind of unfair. Yeah, I'll fucking, I'll fucking beat the shit out of this man. So that's your strategy. This too is. Your strategy is just using a gun. Damn it. I'm impressed. It's tougher than it looks. Dodge this. Nice try, fucker. I'll go with. Never mind. Oh, I don't have Fuka, right? Fuck, I can't actually analyze him. That was quite the spectacle. But it's time to end this. Damn. Reward for your efforts. Let me show you my power. Come, Persona. How about this? Um, bro got Mega Dola. The finale was surprisingly unsatisfying, wasn't it? Your shots to drop something. Hmm. Your persona ability is truly fascinating. It's different from the one I saw the last time, isn't it? So, you can choose from multiple personas to fit the situation. Yeah. You must be burdened with an extremely unusual fate. You could say that. It seems your friend has arrived. Then I suppose I'll have to be on my way for tonight. What is your name? I'll see to it that I remember. That's oh, right, I remember the name. Enemies though we may be, I'm not one for leaving a debt unsettled. I shall have to repay you another time. Are you all right? Did you already defeat the shadow? Okay, so like it's been a while since I played Persona 3, but like I don't remember that this scene. <laughs> Good work, but that was an unnecessary risk you took. Sorry. I had help. <laughs> you can fill me in on the way back. In any so, like, case. I'm glad you're okay. Like, do I, like, hop on the back of your bike, or... How do I, how do I get back? <laughs> Am I holding Mitsuru's back? <laughs> I don't look like a baby. <laughs> Jesus took the wheel, literally. There, you had a long night, huh? No, no, let's not go to Tartarus tonight. Got it. I'm sorry. Thanks. I like looking to Strago with the chairman's help. If I found anything, I'll let you know. I was understanding your circumstances last night, but try to avoid staying out late from now on. Ah, What? But, 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 but how else am I going to talk to the old, the old man who scammed me? <laughs> I have to talk to the grown man who so I gave like 40,000 yen to. <gasps> I think me and him were just starting to hit it off. 
Pretty sober school's over, but doesn't it feel like we kind of waste our vacation? We have to make a bunch of plans to make up for it. I wonder if anything's going on soon. Apparently aware of a summer festival tomorrow and a film festival oh. the following day. That's right, right, I guess. Are you thinking about going to the yes. festivals? Indeed, my dad indicates the festivals and our like other other like events offer unique experiences. So for our, so for investigative purposes, I plan to infiltrate such a shindig. <laughs> uh huh. I'll try not to stand out too much. Oh my God, Karamaru for what? No, shut up. Screw you, Tanaka. I need to take Karamaru for walkies. He's like, I'm be a pleading eye. Seems just to go for a walk. I guess can come with us tonight. <gasps> oh my God. Let's go. Look at him! Koromaro-san seems to be enjoying himself. He's so happy! <laughs> He's able to go on cherished walks together with his friends. Look at him go! <laughs> this must be where the summer festival I have heard about will be held. For what reason is it required to equip oneself with this yukata? I would like to infiltrate the site tomorrow to investigate this matter further. Is that Igus's pajamas? I think that's her re no, that's her regular clothes. I told you, Igus can wear clothes. See? Now, how Igus is wearing shoes is a different story. <laughs> Considering she has stubs, I'm not entirely sure how she's wearing shoes or even... I don't know. I was gonna say stockings. I don't even think those are stockings. Those are her legs. <laughs> Oh my god, he gave me something. Garden sense. Good job, boy. He wants you to have this. Perhaps it was part of his secret stash. Shall we return to the dorm? Let us come again, Koromaru-san. How does Igus understand Koromaru? She's a robot. <laughs> she can understand a lot of languages, including dog. How is she wearing shoes? They just screw on and off. They just screw on and off their foot attachments. I was about to say, did she just change her, like, she just change out her little, like, stubs for, like, actual, like, feet? <laughs> Hello? Oh, those people want to hang out? Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Huh? <laughs> I'm well, taking Agus there to show around, but I'm not certain if I make a good guy. So could you come along as well? Oh my god! Who should I go to the summer festival with? What? Oh, what the- Oh, what the f- I didn't know they were all asking me. Oh god! I only read one text message. Oh no! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Women! There's only one the true choice? You're right. Mitsuru and Igus. <laughs> <laughs> I probably upset some people who are probably. Oh, okay. I'm assuming nobody expected me to pick that. Oh, look at her! Fuck you. I picked the right option. <laughs> I get to look after Igus, too. I like this option. This option's cuter. Look, man. Yuko, I don't want to give Yuko the wrong idea, bro. I ain't trying to match up with Yuko. Also, I may have ended up with, um,. Chihiro when I originally played Persona 3, but I don't think I'm gonna go for her this time. Wise choice. They'll fit. Now, this is the best choice. Are my words even registering to you? <laughs> Should we hold hands? <laughs> what? I... What is the implication of this question? Are you asking if we should hold hands with Mitsuru or if we should hold hands with Igus? <laughs> I'm assuming, if I, I'm assuming this question is implying like, so that we don't lose Igus that we hold hands. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what he's trying to say and not just randomly trying to be like, Mitsuru, can I hold your hand? <laughs> like a fucking awkward weirdo. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's like, okay, yeah, yes, I guess. So you wish to restrain me? <laughs> <laughs> Be warned that my ability to jettison my hand from my wrist would make holding it a poor method of restraint. What? <laughs> well, that's good to know. Fine, fine. Just make sure to stay close to us. 
Does he wish to restrain me? I guess no. She's got her little stub feet again. This is takoyaki. Would you like to try some? Shopkeep. I would like to purchase one. She's <laughs> so formal. Shopkeep. <laughs> Shopkeep. Uh, <got> <laughs> right up. Well, aren't you a lucky guy with two beautiful ladies? I'll throw in an extra for you on the house. Oh, uh, thanks. On the house? Do the takoyaki have some kind of architectural purpose? <laughs> she can eat. Hmm. Oh, extremely high temperature juices have spurted out from inside. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Looks as though you've had another valuable experience. You should have some too. Show I guess the true nature of takoyaki. As for me, I'll have to decline. Why? What are those? <laughs> Where does it go? <laughs> that 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 is a good question. <laughs> I guess she has. I, I guess it's implied that she has a digestive system. Those are masks. They're worn over the face as a form of recreation. One can find enjoyment by hiding one's face. Hiding your face isn't the objective, exactly. Rather, you get to experience having a different one. Hmm. Putting this into words is proving difficult. So then, by wearing a different face, you are able to become a different version of yourself? <laughs> yes. Yes, that's about right. Your degree of comprehension is actually quite stunning. At this rate, a few more tests and the chairman may give you permission to go out on your own. Oh my god! I look forward to that. Dirty G talking. Oh my god, who is that duck? <laughs> what is that duck creature? Oh my god. Make some nice memories, what do you say? Odds are looking good, lots of winning tickets left. Zero, did you eat takoyaki at some point? I have never had takoyaki, no. Hmm. Why don't we give it a try? Man, I got this. Also, trying a lottery tickets. We gotta dig down from the to the bottom. Holy shit, I won! <laughs> Yo! I'm the best. Is it the Enjoy. is it the giant duck? I got a Jack Frost doll. Hey, I need four of those. <laughs> I have won a water pistol. No. Oh. Between this and my onboard firearms, which is more effective in combat against the shadows? <laughs> the water pistol. Here, let's trade. Wait, what did you exchange? I'll give you these marbles I won. No way. Let her keep the water pistol. I, I want the water don't pistol. You? Don't you agree? I, mean, I want the water pistol. I think we've seen all the vendors now. It's starting to get late, so let's head back. I want the water pistol. Not yet. The mystery of the shooting game is yet unsolved. The mystery. I precisely struck the item to unbalance its center of gravity, yet it did not even budge. Perhaps you should ask Iori the trick behind it when we return. Come on, let's go. The mystery behind the shooting game. The best case scenario, she actually has a digestive system. Worst case, she's just gonna gunk her insides. I feel like if she didn't have a way to digest it, Mitsuru wouldn't have let her get it, though. Oh, it's a special version. Unbeatable part. The spooky season. Cursed paper. Wait, there's more. Two vanish balls. Sure. Thanks, kid. Thanks, kid. Oh, God, Kenji. <laughs> Let's watch a movie. No. Who's this guy? This thing is my freaking luck. Hell, do you want to get around in the mood? What do you got? Bandages? Oh, here we go. I feel like I owe you. You're a student, right? If you're from around here, thanks. You take this. 
I got a student handbook. Hey, do you want the student handbook? This might be it. It is mine. Here, take this. I got catnip. Wait, I gotta give it to the cat? Who are you? You're not a cat. Oh, you're a cat-loving boy. Oh, okay. There you go. You can have this. Give me a cat ear headband. Yeah, Elizabeth like this headband. Oh, yeah, it's, it's Gary and Puka. He'd still stand outside of her up, finish my shop, and I can get home. I'm talking to Fuka. I want to talk to Fuka. Nice of shop. He's just shopping. Finished your fucking straw millionaire thing. <laughs> All right, this was worth it. Never mind. It's transformed me to a cat in the blink of an eye. Thank you for this lovely gift. Now I too could be a straw millionaire. Like this is your reward. Holy shit, I got 20 turquoise. Oh shit, Junpei. What Junpei want to do? Hmm. Only educational manga. I wish I had some shonen stuff. At least I have the one I borrowed from what's his name. You want to read? It's his baseball manga. I want to read with Junpei. <laughs> Sorry, Carl. This one's pretty old, so the art's got a retro feel to it. Guess it's supposed to feel nostalgic, right? Bro, read a manga with Junpei. Hey, who do you think of these old classics? Hey, the classics go hard, bro. Timeless masterpieces. Whoa, dropping some wisdom. It's just like read. It's just like reading manga with Natsuki. Guys, we're gonna read Parfait Girls next. <laughs> I hear you though. The best manga know exactly how to light a fire in your heart. Oh crap! Gotta keep going. Bottom of the ninth. Two outs. Bases loaded. And a home run will change it all. Boy, heroes in a real pickle. Oh man. Hey, you better read faster or else I'm gonna spoil it for you. I could have a hero in a baseball manga. <laughs> I mean, a hero in the sports manga. He saves the day by, by performing the sport. I should have borrowed more volumes. Damn. It gets even crazier than this if I remember right. Man, the main character's rival. Oh. I'm with courage. I could make like a baseball anime joke, but I haven't actually watched oh, any baseball anime. Up next time. Well, I'm gonna hit the hay. Night, Junpei. I don't know if I said this or if I was gonna say it, then got cut off by something else. So, um, yeah, so the reason why you're like probably like, damn, Zero, you're like going through some of these social links like pretty quickly. Like, you know, you're looking at games like Persona 5, you know, typically, or even like 4. Typically, maybe four. I don't know if four really covers like this. Like this game, you can get very early with some of these social links. You're really wondering like why you have so many days in this game. That's because the original how you're supposed to handle Persona 3 is you're supposed to spend tons of fucking days grinding in Tartarus. <laughs> so the game had to make sure you had a bunch of extra days to actually do these social links. But because of reloads changes to the gameplay mechanics to where, you know, you don't actually have to like grind in Tartarus that much and you can even do Tartarus us all in one day now i just got a bunch of extra days to do social links to the point where i think this game's probably like really easy to probably like get all these guys oh my dear there's a mistake there that's not how you write gecko con i know i know i hardly ever write it so I just forgot how oh, to look for a second. I, I just realized everybody in chat just said, Yay, Bebe, and I just did not go to Bebe. <laughs> uh, no, Bebe, I'm sorry. <laughs> they said sad faces. I'm sorry. I was, just, I was just making a mention that he was there and texted me, but yeah, no, he did not go to Bebe. I'm sorry. It's okay, guys. We got the old people. For all the people who've been campaigning to save the tree. Oh, huh, speak of the devil. I'm writing a letter. Something I haven't done in ages. I'm used to the keyboard doing all the work for me. True. Why, is that surprising? I'm actually quite the net surfer, you know? Damn. Grandpa will be playing RuneScape like Cam. Which makes sense. Cam is also old. No, oh, no, no, don't look. Oh, I'm shy. <laughs> We'll tell you when the time is right. Are you okay. curious about the letter? Excited, perhaps? Even exhilarated? Acting like you aren't. Bro, I'm I'm exhilarated. We are too. We spend every day looking. What do you mean, act like I'm not? I'm not old. 
Sometimes you even make me feel smarter. Maybe I should just go back to school. Ah, just kidding. <laughs> ah, just kidding. Excuse me. Trust me deeply. Like we're going closer. I think I'm at rank nine with them now. Bro, are the old people gonna be the first fucking? Is the elderly couple gonna be the first social link I complete? The matter before your next visit. It took you a while. Take a while to realize I was calling you old. I think you might be. No, it wasn't. Did take me a while to realize I was reading the text of the game and like waiting to say your message. <laughs> Before I enlighten you today, well, you notice anything different about me? Uh, sort of. Ooh, so you can tell. I had my hair revitalized. I don't know what that means. Now. I don't think that's true. It's quite a hassle, but I, mean, I do know what that means, but like, I don't know what this means in this context because you did not do anything to your hair. Work. That said, I am the total opposite at home. I dress like a slob and only shower every three days. Let me come up with an analogy. Hmm. Vegetables. Perfect. Great vegetables. Imagine an organically grown cucumber that looks all deformed. Compare that to a cucumber that looks perfect, but was grown using chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Which one do you think the supermarket would rather stock? Uh, the one that looks good. That's the simple truth. <laughs> Awkwardly shaped cucumbers don't pack together very well. So, the fuck? stores prefer straight ones taste and safety they only prefer the straight cucumbers they'll carry cucumbers that even pests wouldn't eat so why do consumers still buy these cucumbers when they know the truth simple people trust what they see the world is governed more by appearances than realities that's why as much as i hate spending money i buy expensive ties to win people's trust wait you know what I just said earlier? The part about me dressing like a slob and not showering every day. Don't yeah. you dare tell anyone. I can't afford to have people start believing I'm ordinary. I only admitted it to you personally. No one else has a clue, okay? Hmm. He's opening up to me. I don't think he is. <laughs> feels like he accidentally tells me like half of these things. This never feels like he's actually getting closer to me. Just a reminder, do not tell a soul. If you break your promise, well, I guess I can trust you. Oh my god. Run along now. Never mind. I was wrong. He's not threatening me anymore. <laughs> Good morning. This is Hello. Calling to inform you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The humans have showed up in the Tartarus. I haven't even gotten to the border. The movie maybe? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Scott the Wars. <laughs> oh man, it's something I got with Scott. <gasps> Let's go we were probably gonna play the Wii U. Uh, hamburgers. Probably something a child would want to eat. There we go. Right, last time we went to Wild Duck, I, I told you your parents probably hate you. <laughs> the other day. Dad. Oh shit. Talk to me about why they were getting divorced. It was sad. But I listened to the whole thing. Did I do good? <laughs> why am I? You're a good girl. <laughs> She's not my child. <laughs> Thank you. So, mom and dad, they said when there's no love, it's hard to stay married. But they said not to worry. Because they would love me no matter what. So I told them. It's okay if they get divorced. It must be hard to live with someone you don't love. Hey, so I have to choose if I want to live with my Oh, God. Dad. Who do you think I should... Oh, God. You're making me... No, you have to decide that. That's what I'm like. What? Don't make me choose this. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. You have to decide this. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. Oh. 
I go with mom, I might have to move somewhere far away. And then I won't be able to play with you anymore. That's no fair. I miss you too much. <laughs> Michael seems very fond of me. Back to the dorm. Hello, I just had to escort a little girl back to her house. Back. Damn, it's hot. It's not like a pig over here. Strong Yuri, the heat will only affect you if you allow it to. Of course, there are limits to that theory. <laughs> uh. I recently expanded my outdoor exercise regimen, and I wanted to boost my nutrition and match. So I got some pork liver today because it's supposed to be rich in iron. But I don't think it'll taste like much if I just boil it like usual. That's why I'm gonna try cooking a pork liver stir fry. I already looked up how to make it. Think you can help out? Uh, do it yourself. You bet. You're, I'm your right hand man, Akiko. You like this dish too? I've already cleaned the meat ahead of time. All that's left is to cook the liver, then stir the chives and bean sprouts in. Ew. Bean sprouts, also liver. Ew. Wow, this is great. I guess it was a good thing I took the time for all that prep. They say a boxing match is decided out well. the bell even rings. Maybe this is kind of the same thing. Iron athlete meal. <laughs> oh, sorry. Obviously, this wouldn't have been possible without your help. I've still got a lot to learn, but it's hard to make time for it with all my training and stuff. Can we adopt Maybe. her? We cannot adopt Maiko. We are literally a teenager in high school. With one stone. <laughs> we can adopt her once it's Makoto's birthday. <laughs> then he'll be 18. <laughs> then he's a legal adult. <laughs> then we can adopt her. Yeesh. He's a scorcher. Oh man, it's already the 20th? Summer break's almost over. August 20th. Not that I got anything to do. You'd think with special powers, the rest of the world wouldn't be so boring. Hmm? <sighs> What's she doing? Drawing? She's some kind of caricature artist? Nah, no way. There's no one around for her to draw. What the heck is she drawing then? There's nothing in here. What <laughs> is she drawing then? Her. Out of the way. Nope. You're blocking my view. Move. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, what's with those funky colors? What do you want? No, uh, nothing. My bad. Dude, how can she stand to wear that crazy outfit in this heat? And what was up with that weird drawing? I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Huh. Oh well. Weird. Junpei, looking at a member of Strago without knowing. Junpei, you fool! Now they have all the information on you! Get out of here! I've been waiting for you. What? What is she? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's this. <laughs> to those who dare to reach another floor. So, this is an escalator. A simple contraption at first glance. But one false step will leave one mired in an exhausting ordeal. That's not the point of that. For your own safety and the safety of others, please do not move in the opposite direction of the escalator. <laughs> Thank you. You're gonna get us kicked oh, out. My. It seems that these customers may come to harm. We'd best exercise caution ourselves. And what is this? Please watch your step. There is a pitfall just ahead. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Why? 
why it's right over here. There, in the center of this fenced-off area, it's marked with eye-catching signs, proclaiming in bold print, do not enter. Humans are frequently drawn to what has been forbidden. This is a crafty snare, one that defies the common notion that pitfalls must be hidden. Flowing stairways, pitfalls employing high-level psychological tactics. This confirms other people can see her. Well, yeah, they can always see the level of attendance. Remember in Persona 5 when Joker would take the twins in Royal, at least when Joker would take the twins out to like what to like the water burger place and everything. They got food. <laughs> They delivered food to them. It was like, everyone can always see the Velvet Room attendants. They can see them, I think, when they go on the outings. Like, when they go places, then that's when people can see them. But I think when they're standing next to the Velvet Room door, people can't see them. Human authorities truly go to great lengths in their quest to preserve the town's law and order. I'm very moved by their dedication to the cause. Let us carry on. Our thoughts with the unsung heroes who give their love and lives to this town. The hell is she talking about? Oh, this tantalizing fragrance. Can it be? Whoa! You can figure out our See? secret and this woman can say her too. I guess you got a funky sense of smell to go with your funky sense of style, lady. Well, there ain't a law saying takoyaki shops can't cook other stuff besides octopus. So, how about it? Wanna buy some? I swear my takoyaki's so good it'll make your jaw drop. Cuisine so scrumptious that one's jaw can drop off? I imagine that would warrant urgent medical care, realistically speaking. But I would very much like a taste. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is all I have on me at the moment. I do hope this is sufficient. <laughs> it's not that expensive. No need to console me. My curiosity far exceeds any monetary. Oh, I see. Upon closer inspection, a single serving is only 400 yen. <sighs> Well, well then, two orders of your finest takoyaki, please. God damn, this was Here you go. Here you again. <laughs> How much is she trying to give her? This distinct texture, the firm, chewy skin. There's no doubt about it. I must say, I'm surprised to see this used as a cooking ingredient. How's your jaw? yet to even unhinge but for the better i suppose there are many other delicacies i must try it wouldn't do to lose my job before sampling each and every one of them there appear to be several dining establishments around here we must simply visit all of them my first priority is to go to something called a net cafe where one may use something called a soda fountain this <laughs> soda fountain allows for an infinite combination of flavors by mixing various solutions holy Just thinking about it gives me a sort of electric tingle across my tongue the soda fountain of the gods i see my what oh, my <laughs> what the oh, fuck i don't like that first noise <laughs> i don't like the slurp noise oh god it's on my stomach Oh, she we went to so many food to places. Area. Oh dear, is something the matter? Oh no! Now that I think about it, you haven't eaten much since our seventh meal. Oh my lord! I must thank you for your delightful company. Look at his I face! savor this experience. If you don't mind, <laughs> I very much appreciate. He's like, oh god. Me again sometime. <laughs> Makoto, no. All right, I keep for... I don't know why I keep being like, oh, I'll go escort her tomorrow. I keep forgetting that he tell you does not waste a day to escort her. I keep forgetting about that. I do recreate some of the dishes. I must hunt for ingredients. This is a reward. The Book of the Ancients. Thoth. The monkey. Very well. 
Damn it, that means I still have time with t <laughs> No! Damn it. My poor stomach has been crying. Great! More food! <laughs> Restaurant is filled with the familiar smell of fish. That enough appetizers? Oh no. <laughs> Why am I eating more? <laughs> no, Makoto! <laughs> He's gonna explode. Excuse me, sir. Two bowls of the usual today. And as always, make sure one of them is extra large. Coming right up. Walls are a place to for new fresh ones. Once you taste this, my friend, there is no going back. Ton, ton, ton noodles. Yes, that's three. Count them three tons. This is the crown jewel of the secret menu here. Even better than the Hagakure bowl. The simple salt based broth, complemented by the rich, spicy miso sauce. It's like a microcosm of the miracle of creation. Wow! Colonel Flair melts away my troubles. It's all about that secret menu. Although, how will people find it if it's too secret? Eh, whatever. The harder hey, wait a minute. Ain't the, the guy better sitting better on the left there? Ain't that the guy who showed up and tried to kill him that one time? Or he said he was gonna kill him? Oh, sir! Don't toss out that first bowl, all right? That soup and I have unfinished business. Ew. What? This is a huge honor for you, you know? You're only the second person to taste this after me. Don't forget to blow on the noodles to cool them off. What a lucky guy you are. I mean, you get to be friends with me. Oh, boy. And just so you know, you wouldn't be getting this with my younger brother. Because the Gourmet King's brother is not the Gourmet King. So, do you get me, hmm? Who am I? Go on, I want to hear it come out of your mouth. Oh, God. It's <laughs> Omi Sumetsu. <laughs> the Gourmet King. My word, not so loud. Are you trying to embarrass me? Here, have some of my boiled egg. I had a couple of bites, but it's still good. Ew, what the? No! No more talking. Food's gonna be a chewy, flavorless mess if we don't eat up. Sir, sir, you save that first bowl, right? Cause I'm gonna be needing it. I hate this fucker. I hate him too. <laughs> oh my god! What they doing? No. <laughs> what? Oh, I guess. <laughs> don't say no to him. What? What's going on? I guess. What are you? What are you what, why are you being mean to the dog? <laughs> what? What? What's wrong? No, what? It is time for Koromaru-san's solo patrol duty. What? Commonly known as a walk. Oh yeah. There were arrangements for Sonata-san to accompany Koromaru-san on his walk today. However, the scheduled time has passed. And Sonata-san has yet to return. <gasps> Koromaru-san's patience has reached its limit. <laughs> he looks really happy. <laughs> his, his, his patience doesn't seem very limited. <laughs> oh, because now he's gonna use me. Okay. Koromaru-san is requesting that you accompany Instead. Okay. Are you available to assist at the moment? I am, I am perfect timing. I can walk him. What they call a lifesaver. Oh, he's adorable. Come, dog. We can walk. I left the dorm to go for a walk. I'm on Koro. What? Oh. A non-human persona user. 
Now that is certainly unique. Hey! My fascination lies more with you. <laughs> Come on, sick him! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Good evening. There's no need for hostility. Now is hardly the time. Get him, Gormaru! <laughs> Take the gun from his pocket. Let's have a little chat. Come along. Doesn't seem to be hostile. What should I do? What exactly are you waiting for? I'm conversing with the dog. What do you think I should do, Koromaru? I guess we're both going together. Now then, I have a question for you. However, just demanding answers from you wouldn't be a very fair arrangement, now would it? I will answer one question of your own first. So, what do you want to know? Alright, Coral, what are we gonna ask him? Uh... <laughs> actually, that is... <laughs> that actually is one of my most biggest concerns. <laughs> We only get one question, but I think this one's the one I'm actually very curious about. Because, <laughs> like, I feel like I can guess the other two. Like, you know, his goal is that he just wants the Dark Hour to stay because he wants to keep his persona. And the reason he's getting in our way is because we're trying to prevent that. I really want the question as to why he's not wearing a fucking shirt. <laughs> My coat is invisible to fools. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> Bro, are you fucking LARPing? You're not wearing a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but of course I'm joking. You fucking weirdo. What a surprise that you would rather ask about me instead of our group. I really don't care about your group. Perhaps this is a sign that we may reach a mutual understanding. You know, I really wish you could have a conversation with me without having your hand on your fucking gun. <laughs> In the beginning... Okay, he's poor. <laughs> Bro cannot afford a shirt. That is the answer. Had you not decided to eliminate the dark hour, we wouldn't have had a reason to interfere. It is truly unfathomable. The power of a persona is a blessing granted only to us. Look, man, if you can't afford a shirt, that's fine. I can hand you one. Like, you don't have to. You called me a fool and everything about it. Like, I can. I got plenty. Like, it's fine. You don't have to act all high and mighty. Yet, you insist on ending the dark hour, knowing full well that your powers will be lost. Yeah, because I'm normal. Now, answer me this. Why? Are you trying to protect the world from the shadows? Yes. That's right. And just where did you come up with that idea? In this country, almost 5,000 people die in car accidents every year. And yet, there is no outcry against the existence of cars. Why do you suppose that is? Because cars are very useful. And the car isn't the one murdering them. <laughs> it's the people driving the car. <laughs> the, the shadow is actually- Shadows are actually killing people. There's no positive to them sticking around. It is because we value our own convenience over the lives of others. That's not even why. <laughs> so then, why should we give up the powers we were bestowed? <laughs> I like the Makoto's calling him, but the logic makes no sense. <laughs> Do you know what a savior complex is? I'm trying to change the subject <laughs> after we called you out. You are being trapped by a misguided way of thinking. We have no obligation to sacrifice what is ours to save others. Giving up your own life to save Dude really is Jesus. He's like the op <laughs> It's funny you say that when literally he is the opposite of Jesus. <laughs> He's literally talking about how we have no obligation to sacrifice what is ours. <laughs> He's literally talking about he has no obligation to sacrifice himself. And I'm like, this is like the exact opposite of Jesus. <laughs> He's not willing to sacrifice shit.
<laughs> Your reason for fighting is one of obsession. You're wrong. Do you continue to deny it because you can't accept the truth? No, because I continue to deny it because you're wrong. <laughs> There is no need to rush your decision. You should think carefully about it. We have been given a special power. And yours... Yours is particularly extraordinary. It's as if the Dark Hour has chosen you. Does it really make sense for you to reject this gift? That was all I had to say. All right, now get out. Tonight is a new moon. You have ample time to reconsider before the moon waxes full again. You're tall. Folded paper. With that, my debt to you is paid. Perhaps it might help you make up your mind. Well then, I shall be going. I trust you'll have changed your tune by the next time we meet. Something written on it. Piece of paper. The new gear has eased summoning, but we need to make new safety cards before handing them off to MK. The evoker weight is also an urgent matter. Fortunately, ample subjects remain to... That's a piece of paper about the invoker. The creation of the evoker. Well, that was interesting. Karamaru, you just went for a walk! Wait, what? What? You have a brush by you. Wait, that's not a walk. Wait, Fuka, I'm sorry. I got a... A pet brush is at Koromaru's feet. That means he wants me to brush him. Oh my god. I gotta brush the dog. I'm sorry, Fu. I gotta brush Koromaru. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at him! Koromaru seems content. Maybe we should finish brushing him. Oh, he's sad! Oh, don't stop brushing him! Koromaru still wants me to keep brushing him. <laughs> oh no, he's sad! Uh. Where should I brush next? I'm especially waiting for me to keep brushing. Oh! He gave me something. Isn't it bad to do it on the couch? Koromaru wanted to be on the couch. Let him be. Hey man, I don't buy these chairs. <laughs> Koromaru bought this, this lucky charm. Is he thanking me for brushing it? Got a lucky charm. <laughs> Thank you, Koromaru. Koromaru is very happy. Maybe I'll brush this coat again when I have, when I have time. Koromaru's great, dude. I love Koromaru. All right, I'm getting fancy today and adding an egg to my order. Ooh, adding an egg. Daring today, are we? Whew. That hit the spot. Get a lot of bang for your buck here. Man, I can't remember the last time I had such a fresh egg. Maybe I should get some for them too. Are you talking about your your, your, your demons? Your, your teammates? No, I meant my siblings. Four of them, actually. I look after them. What the hell? Our apartment's pretty small though, so we're packed like sardines. Sounds like fun. I don't think we should say sounds like fun. Um, sounds rough. <laughs> you could say that. You wouldn't believe how hot it gets in the summer. I never mentioned this, but my father died five years ago. We I say we're only a social. Li I'm not fishing for sympathy or anything. I, I just thought you should know. I say we're only at like social link like three. I don't. <laughs> This is a little too soon to be telling me this. A little too quick to be telling me this, buddy. Like, I, don't, I barely know you. Go some tough times. I feel like we're getting closer. Okay, well, there you go, I guess. 
Oh, sorry. Social link three. We're not even at four. I was right about three. Yeah. Whoa, it's already this late. The preschool's gonna be letting out soon. See ya. That's how we're ending the conversation? Uh, yeah, so uh, my dad died. Anyway, bye. <laughs> Man, what, what a nice conversation that was. Who are we romancing? A wise it Akihiko? We can't romance Akihiko. He's not gay. And I don't think my character's gay. <laughs> hey, I chime. You want to go on a mission to get some ice cream? Markets indicate the consumption of ice cream may lead to health risks detrimental to our ability to carry out operations. Oh, no. He's going to ruin ice cream. <laughs> I'm gonna get. No, I'm gonna get smart. This fish is gonna make me smart. Tomorrow, what you doing? Hey, have you seen Korochan? I just saw him. Oh, just when I was about to brush him. Wait, is that bad? Again. He likes to step out front every so often to get some sunlight. Thank goodness. Well, I guess it's not a big deal if he's just basking in the sun. Yeah, I thought that... would never bite or bark at people anyway. Let him vibe. I agree with you there. However, we still have the responsibility of being his owners. I don't want to restrict his freedom too much, but we still have to be mindful. I've been getting him to come back in whenever I notice he's gone out. Try to do the same if you ever happen to see him outside. I have to actually tell Koromaru to go inside if I see him. <laughs> come on, Koromaru. It's time to come in. Responsibility, huh? Yeah, I guess that's true. He that's may cute. be a persona user, but he is still a dog. He is a dog. I see Koromaru, so I should call out to him. Okay, yeah, this is my, this is my rules. All right. <laughs> if I see him outside, we gotta call. They're just making me do all this shit. I gotta feed him too, probably. His balls empty. Movie. <laughs> Why is he? <laughs> Why is he sending me? Why are all of Kasushi's messages in all caps? Movie. Dear Zero John. Movie. Actually, hold up. Someone just made a good point. Someone said Carl John Link episode. Wait, does he? I was gonna be like, wait, does he get Link episodes? And then I was like, how would he tell me? He doesn't have a phone. That is a good point. Karmaru, do you have Link episodes? Is he still outside? What? Karmaru? She told you to- Mitsuru literally just told you to go inside. Is that hot out here? Karmaru won't budge. I wonder if there's a reason he wants to stay out here. Maybe I can find out why if I spend time with Karmaru. He actually does have a Link episode. <laughs> Sorry, Kaz. Gotta hang out with my dog. I just like the nothing that has happened so far. <laughs> Us just sitting here watching people. Zero, he is a party member. That is true. He is a party member. I'm already eagerly watching all the people pass by. Inside? Oh no, no. Here's fine. Down we go. <laughs> Years are catching up to me. <laughs> Do you live here? In that case, I have to give you my thanks. I just sound like Weenie the Pooh almost. So thank you. Taking Koromaru in is your family. A lot's been going on ever since the priest's accident. To tell you the truth, someone else was willing to take Koromaru in. 
He's always at the shrine. That's right. We eventually realized that Koromaru kept going back to the shrine. I'm not sure what it was, but it seemed like he had some unfinished business. Bro had to kill some goddamn shadows. He wasn't done. And after that, no one else was able to take him in. However, if he's here now, I take it he achieved his goal then. He saw it through. I see, I see. There's something funny about describing a dog having unfinished business. But <laughs> Karamaru had unfinished business he had to take care of. Then he could rest. I can't say I really understand. But if you do, then Koromaru must be happy. I believe that Koromaru's bright enough to choose where he wants to be. That means it must be his choice to be here with you. Be good to each other. Will you? We'll, oh no, we'll see. I'll see if I still like this dog. All right, I've rested plenty. I'll get out of your hair before it gets too late. Upsy Daisy. Upsy Daisy. Oh, oh no. Oh. Poor old man, he's turning his back for carrying too much. There's, are we gonna, okay. Let me carry your bags. It's very sweet of you. I'd like that very much. Tomorrow and I walk to the old man back to his place. Oh. <laughs> You're in a good mood, Koro-chan. Did you go for a walk? <laughs> you helped? Ah, I see. <laughs> Wait, did he? How did he help? Wait, was he holding a bag? <laughs> how did he help? I believe Koromaru san wants to thank you. He says, let's do it again. The dog really did have a link episode. Hey, Koromaru appreciates me. I feel like my charm is because I'm helping people with Koromaru. Thanks, Koromaru. Your dinner today, Koromaru san. I hope you look forward to it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he out of the door after Koromaru calmed down a bit. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I guess does not know how to make this how to make this dog food. I'd like to ask you a question. Why do schools temporarily close during the summer? Because it's hot! <laughs> it's funny. I see. Then after the allotted break period ends, school resumes. I comprehend. 